Fallout 4 is an amazing RPG game and it's been out since 2015 and since it did release in 2015 this means that it was designed for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Seven years later you still find many players playing Fallout 4. One of the only issues with the game is that it can feel a bit outdated at times. But this is all about to change. We recently got the announcements that Fallout 4 is getting a next generation version for the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S. So in today's video we're going to go over everything we know so far about this next generation version and what we can expect. But so just before we do get into all of that, I want to let you guys know about my other channel. On my other channel, I cover everything related to Rockstar Games. This means that I mainly focus on the Red Dead Redemption and Grand Theft Auto series. If that sounds like it might interest you, a link to that channel can be found in the description below. So please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any content just like this. Let's get into it. So it was recently Fallout's 25th anniversary, and with this we got loads of small goodies for Fallout 76, with that obviously being their main focus at the moment, with it being, you know, the main multiplayer game. However, we did also get some other news. Bethesda released a massive article giving loads of information about loads of stuff and loads of developer interviews and everything like that regarding this 25th anniversary. And we're going to go and check that out now. So here we are over on this article for the 25th anniversary. Now this did release a couple months back, but obviously we're checking it out now and we're looking and focusing on that Fallout 4 next gen. But either way, we got loads of stuff here, like I said, about Fallout 76 and loads of stuff going over what we can expect to arrive in that game and you know the sort of you know free free anniversary bundles and everything like that as you can see here but there's something else that's just here and this is Fallout 4 is going next gen and obviously we don't even get that much really we just get sort of this image and yeah just this small thing here that we'll read now prepare for the future a next gen update is coming to Fallout 4 coming in 2023 this free update will be available for the Xbox Series X and S PlayStation 5 and Windows PC systems including performance mode features for high frame rates quality features for 4k resolution gameplay bug fixes and even bonus creation club content and there you go that's all we we really get obviously we've got loads of other stuff here just going over you know some developer interviews and generally the main focus here was really fallout 76 and all we really got was some little news here some tiny news really about when we can expect this to arrive and that there is a fallout 4 next gen in development that's really all we got there was just sort of a confirmation really that that was actually happening it hadn't really been rumored at all and players hadn't really expected this to happen it was a bit of a surprise and i think it's pretty cool and we'll you know we're gonna sort of analyze what we've got here now so there you go that's everything we have in terms of official news from bethesda regarding this fallout 4 next generation version so first of all we know exactly what platforms this will arrive on we know it's going to be for xbox series x and s places 5 and Windows PC systems and since they've included Windows PCs in there I would suspect that there will be some graphical improvements to the game and not just the sort of higher resolution since that's already really available on PC I think there will be some improvements to the overall graphics nothing absolutely major at all but something we've seen sort of with some previous games where they sort of you know increased the texture resolution stuff like that I think that's what we can expect to arrive especially for those Windows PCs but obviously where the difference will be most noticeable will be for the Xbox Series X and S and particularly PlayStation 5 and I'll get onto that in a moment so it has been confirmed that there will be performance mode features for high frame rates now so my guess would be that this is targeting 60 frames per second although i have seen some people say that this will be 120 frames per second but i just do find that very very unlikely i think we only really ever see that in esports titles i find that unlikely to arrive in fallout 4 to be honest but i could be wrong and hopefully i am wrong and it will arrive but i just don't think i am wrong to be honest i think it will be 60 fps and where this 60 fps will be most beneficial is on playstation 5. if you're on pc you can pretty much uncap the frame rates and plays your heart's content however there is one issue in fallout 4 the game does sort of rely on the frame rate and that means that for animations the speed of the animations is sort of is it mixes with the frame rate in a way so if you play fallout 4 on over 60 frames per second on a pc then you're going to notice that all the animations and the general feel of the game is going to feel sped up and that just isn't right and it sort of makes the game unplayable in many ways so this could be something that comes with this next gen version for pc allowing for pc players to play at sort of officially at a higher frame rate without any issues of the animations being sped up and just not working well now over on the xbox series x and s obviously the game is still using the xbox one version of the game but you can actually get 60 frames per second the latest generation of xbox consoles has this feature called fps boost where for some older games including fallout 4 you can actually boost the game to 60 frames per second we see it with some other games we saw it with the previous generation version of the witcher 3 wild hunt and you can also do it with red dead redemption 1 so in terms of frames per second with this next generation version on the xbox series x and s there won't really be any difference unless it does go to 120 frames per second because the game is already at 60 fps and where the difference will be most noticeable is on ps5 now, obviously right now on playstation 5 it is 30 frames per second and it's using the playstation 4 version of the game and 30 frames per second really isn't ideal for a game that's you know mainly in first person 
So obviously, if you are on a platform other than the PlayStation 5, then the higher frame rates won't really affect you that much. Unless, of course, we do end up getting 120 frames per second, then you will see a massive increase as well. But if it is 60, which is what I expect, then if you're on an Xbox or on PC, then yeah, you're not really going to notice this. However, this isn't the only new feature that's arriving. We're also going to be getting a native 4K resolution, which is really nice to see. A lot of people, if they're using a next generation console, they're on a 4K TV. So being able to have this is just going to be able to make the most of all of their hardware. Now, I think it is likely there will be two different performance modes which is what we see you know on most next generation games there'll be the performance mode which gives you the 60 frames per second at a slightly lower resolution and maybe upscale to 4k and then of course there's going to be the main source of quality mode where you'll be getting a native 4k resolution possibly you know you'll be getting some higher graphics and you will be getting those 30 frames per second usually that's typically what they do or it might be 60 and 120 fps if they're you know if we're really really lucky but i do expect it to be a 30 fps mode and a 60 fps mode so along with the higher resolution we're also going to be getting some other stuff which you don't even need to add with the next generation upgrade. Since Fallout 4 did release all the way back in 2015, then you wouldn't really expect much from a next generation upgrade then, other than the, you know, higher frames per second and the higher resolution, and that's about it. But we're getting some bug fixes and some bonus creation club content as well. Honestly, these two things Bethesda didn't need to do at all. Now, it is likely that when this does release, there'll be some new bugs that arrive, so we might get another patch once this does release as well. But it's nice to see that we're also going to be getting some new content along with bug fixes. This new content won't be much at all i'd say at the very most expect a new quest or something but generally speaking it's just going to be some new cosmetic items that's usually what happens when there is a bit of new content with the next generation upgrade now of course the game already has its own mods and sort of creation club and everything like that already and yeah you know that works well so it's nice to be able to see that we're going to be getting something on top of that now by having the mods it sort of creates its own content in a way so you know we already have that and it's nice that we're getting something on top of that so obviously this is all we really know so far and we do know this is coming in 2023 now in terms of when this could arrive in 2023 honestly i have no idea it could be at the end of 2023 or it could be in the middle of 2023 it definitely won't be the early 2023 since we don't really have any other news to be honest so you know i would expect the middle of the year or near the end of the year is when we can expect this it's likely that when they do reveal more info we will also maybe get a release date i think that's possible but yeah all we know is 2023 now some people have wondered whether this will affect the development of starfield and i don't think it will i think the fallout team is sort of separate from starfield and i think that you know it's not really going to affect anything and i, I don't think it signals a star field delay and even if it did then you know a fallout 4 next gen to you know have whilst we wait isn't a bad thing at all and i think you know that's a pretty good trade to be honest if i could have starfield released a little bit later but i get a next generation version of fallout 4 i think i'd probably go for that so that's pretty much everything we know about this fallout 4 next gen we know it's coming in 2023 we know it's going to be for xbox series x and s playstation 5 and windows pc systems we know we're getting performance mode features for you know high frame rates and we know we're getting higher resolutions bug fixes and some creation club content that's everything we know so far personally i'm really looking forward to this and i'm definitely excited to go back to fallout 4 love to hear your thoughts on this down in the comments and what you think this new content will be so if you did enjoy this video please be sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any content just like this i'll see you in the next one peace